Welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Blender making Roblox GFX. So as you can see, I have loaded in this model here into Roblox Studio and you can see that it has the peekaboo look. You can see right into the flower shop and all of the cutesy little flowers and details and the front door is open as well. It's a glass door and how lovely it is. Now there's no wall on the side here but that's so you could walk around and actually be in the flower shop of course so they did not put a wall in. So I'm going to show you how to take this model, put it into Blender and manipulate it how you need to for your GFX. Let's get started. The first tip, make sure when you import your model, you have split by group on, and that way it will be, you'll be able to divide all of the parts easily into multiple objects so that you can manipulate them for your picture. Once the model's imported, you will want to right click, set origin, origin to geometry. Now everything becomes a dot, all of the little parts will be movable and obtainable so that you can manipulate it how you need to. Now, as you can see, this model is showing a wall here. I'm not able to see inside. Even when I go in to render mode, you're not seeing through here. So we need to move those walls so that we can see through if that's what you're after. What we want to do is click on this object, just that square, and it already should have the move button. If it does not, you can go up here and click on move and it will set up for you. You slide it down by clicking on that green arrow. And you know what, when I have my, let me slide it all the way over. When I put this on render, depending on how I have my camera, I might actually see now through and I can see there's no wall there. So that's a problem. That's what I'm here to show you guys how to really do today. You probably already know that you can slide it over, but do you know how to use Blender in the way that I do? I don't know, but I'm about to show you just in case. We're gonna actually rotate this now and we just seen it to be a 90 degrees. We enter 90 and we move it on over and that way we're using what's already been created. I don't need to make another wall, although I do know how to do that as well. But for those of you that don't, all you gotta do is learn how to use that rotate button or R and Z, Y, X, okay? So I wanna get this lined up. It does not have to be perfect, of course it doesn't. I'm not even gonna show the top, so it doesn't matter, right? But I can make it perfect. I can sit here and fiddle sticks around. No problems. Make it perfect. Okay. Now what I need to do though is I'm seeing there's still a hole. Okay. Here's the problem. So next tip of the day, please make sure you're watching this very carefully. What you want to do, make sure you are clicked on to this, tri this, this is not a triangle. Holy buckets. I need geometry again click on this square and change it from object mode to edit mode okay now it's all highlighted I don't want all of it highlighted so I just need to click anywhere off of it but the good news is I can be clicking away la, 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 la. it's not gonna get anything except for that one object all right so I am in edit mode I'm going to click here on the bottom I'm going to hit shift and click on both of these parts and I'm going to eat extrude, which means I'm actually going to make the wall longer. Woo -hoo! Big stuff, guys. You are truly a blender specialist now. Okay, so now that wall has been extended, y'all. But guess what? I want to move this uh, wall right here off of the door. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't click on it. It's a panic. It's a swirl. I don't know what to do. Okay. Hello. Stop the presses. You've forgotten that you're in edit mode for one object, one object only. And that is this wall. Therefore guys, you need to move back to object mode. Ah, oh, panic averted. And you'll click on the next object. Okay. Boom. Shakalaka. There you go. Slide it over. We're good to go. Oh my gosh, do you see that gaping hole? Like, who made this? Crazy times. Okay, 
Don't worry, you just need to move this down over here now, guys. So we're sliding it over. Notice we're still in object mode, so it's not a drama to move anything. It's much easier to move this stuff in object mode than it is in edit. Now I will say if you're making UGCs, you wanna do things a little bit differently, but I'm not showing you that today. But I have made a few of those as well. All right, so we've got this lined up here. It's looking decent enough. I mean, there's no need for a drama perfection. Okay, but ah, ah, there's a whole, a whole bunch of mice have gotten through, which is terrible. If you know me, I can't stand rats. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we need to do now, guys, is we need to get back into that edit mode. Now, let me show you, folks, if I were to do this, and I've got everything connected, and I were to go to edit mode, then all of this is editable. What in the world? Okay, I went to sculpt mode. No, we're not sculpting today. Okay, if I go here, look at this. That is a total drama panic. Who wants all of these little lines? Nobody, okay? It's a drama. So I'm just letting you know though how this works, okay? You really want to just have that one object clicked on, boom. So click off of it, it's a lot easier. You can see it's highlighted here. Now we go to edit mode, okay? So if you ever find that suddenly you've got all these triangles everywhere and you don't know why, look and see you're probably in edit mode and that's why you're not going to see many gfx people using edit mode because it's a real drama all right but advanced gfx folks and i'm sorry folks but i'm not that advanced but i am pretty good at blender so i'm gonna get you guys advanced that's for sure you're going to need to use edit mode so that you can manipulate your model what you want to do now guys is hit that e to extrude and slide it on down and you're not going to get any rats in this town anymore perfect keep those super duper rats out yes you heard me super okay so here we go guys we now have a flower shop it's all ready to go we just get ourselves into render mode and if you want to know exactly how to get this kind of lighting be sure to watch my other video that explains the lighting for you thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it i've enjoyed spending time with you and i hope you've enjoyed spending time with me please be sure to hit that like button and notifications to all if you have any questions let me know in the comments below thank you so much have a great day Bye bye